spokeswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. When Ocasio-Cortez talks about climate change and the Green New Deal she promises will save us from climate change, she often looks like she's going to start to cry or start to yell or both. And why wouldn't she? It's scary as hell. Time is running out. The world is going to end in 12 years if we don't address climate change. Like, this is the war. This is our World War II. Now, you can disagree with the details of the Green New Deal she's proposing, banning cars and airplanes, for example, shutting down the entire American energy sector, rebuilding every dwelling in the United States. You can disagree with that. But what you can't question is Ocasio-Cortez's sincerity. When she talks about climate change, clearly she really means it. Or does she? This is a man called Saikat Chakrabarty. He's Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's chief of staff over in the Congress. He personally led the writing of the Green New Deal. The Washington Post just profiled Chakrabarty. In the interview, Chakrabarty made a stunning admission. All that stuff about the world ending, 12 years to save the planet, it was all a lie. Chakrabarty is not worried about humanity's demise. The Green New Deal has nothing to do with that. Here's what he told the paper. Quote, the interesting thing about the Green New Deal is it wasn't originally a climate thing at all. Do you guys think of it as a climate thing? Because we really think of it as a how do you change the entire economy thing, end quote. That's about as direct as it could be. The Green New Deal is not designed to save the world. It's not about the environment at all. It's about power. Chakrabarty and Ocasio-Cortez want control of the American economy. They went looking for an issue that would justify a hostile takeover of the economy. Climate change seems scary, so they went with that. It's remarkable they're admitting this, but we shouldn't be surprised. It's happening. This kind of thing happens all the time. Manufacturing crises is the less preferred way to exert control over the country. A decade ago, for example, only wackos in bedsheets were called racists. Then, during the last election, Donald Trump was denounced as a racist. Now Nancy Pelosi and Joe Biden are being written off as racists. What's going on here? It's not like there's more racism in the country. In fact, there's much less than there used to be. What changed is that the left realized they could gain power by creating boogeymen, by scaring you. Stupefy the masses with fear-mongering. By the time they've recovered, you're the one in charge. That's their program. Robert Hockett advised Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez on the Green New Deal. He's also a law and finance professor at Cornell University, and he joins us tonight. Professor, thanks for coming on. Oh, hey, Tucker. Thanks for having me on So again. you can imagine how some of us feel betrayed, surprised, scammed. I mean, they're admitting, Ocasio-Cortez's office, Chakrabarty is admitting that the Green New Deal isn't really about climate change or the environment. It's about control of the economy. Why shouldn't we be shocked and offended to learn this? Well, I guess uh, two things really, uh, Tucker. From the very beginning, it's actually combined, right, environmental cleanup and abatement on the one hand and modernization of the economy on the other hand. It's not meant to be a takeover of the economy. It's meant to be a continuation of what historically has always been a great partnership between our federal government on the one hand and the private sector uh, that makes up our economy on the other hand. The most vibrant sector in the American economy is the energy sector, and the Green New Deal would eliminate it. It would, it would literally eliminate it. It would no, also actually presume not. to control, it. well, that's what it says. Well, it's, and I, I believe we debated this before. It, it yeah, says no, that it would, we would, it would, it would transition. Upgrade it. it would upgrade it. Yeah, it would upgrade it. I mean, it's not going to, I mean, okay. the idea is to go to well, carbon I mean, neutrality, if, but. Uh, 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 right. Yeah, I mean, it would upgrade if you look at it, all meaning of the other would, advanced economies in the world. It would end it. Yeah, but Tucker, you know, all right. the other advanced economies in the world are gradually transitioning away from carbon based energy, right? All of them are. We're simply going to join with the rest of them in doing that, right? We're kind of lagging behind. Okay, but, but wait a second, wait a second. Now, now I'm doubly confused. So, mm -hmm. You're saying it is about climate, but Chakrabarty, who's apparently the guy who oversaw the writing of it, says it really isn't. That's just an, a pretext. Yeah, I think you're for fixating grabbing on control. Yeah, I think you're fixating on one sentence. I mean, I'm uh, definitely so, fixating. Yeah, definitely. I mean, yes. So Shoykat all along. I mean, all of us involved in the Green New, New Deal project all along have thought of this as a massive upgrade of American infrastructure to bring us into the 21st century. That in turn is going to be a greenification because there just isn't new. Uh, I'm sorry, there isn't any kind of new infrastructure that isn't green, right? So if you're going to be state of the art, you are by definition becoming green. We don't make old kind of carbon-based infrastructure anymore any more than we make you know whale oil lamps any longer. No, but, or kerosene okay, lamps. okay, but but See? but what, what this is okay. So the effect of this is to allow people like you and Chakrabarty, neither of whom are elected, 
Ocasio-Cortez, who's just elected 20 minutes ago, and to have an amazing amount of control over the way the no, rest of us no, live. No, there'd be no now, control how do you at all. get that control? You get that control by scaring the hell out of us with no, all this nonsense there's, but there's about no the world desire, There's no so desire. For, no, there's really no desire for control, Tucker. It's really about facilitation. It's about bringing finance, making <laughs> finance available. <laughs> well, you can chuckle all you like, but uh, I mean, it's just really the case. It really is the case. Well, because, uh, of course, it's all about control. No, it's all about control. No, it's other, a law. What you, no, no, so this is a proposed law. No, it's firms, telling people what to do. No, it's not a law. It's a resolution. It's a resolution calling for a set of programs to transition the economy into a state-of-the-art green infrastructure economy, right? This is what other countries have okay. done already. This is why China is eating our lunch, You can use lunch, all the right? euphemisms about, you want. No, this Hold is not on. a euphemism. You can use it's, the no, euphemism. No, this no, is about this force is, no, at this some plain, point. No, no, Tucker, this is plain language. just a language. suggestion? Look, no, look at what China's doing, okay? China now produces and consumes by far the greater part of solar energy panels, right? All of those photovoltaic panels. We invented that stuff. We used to be the principal manufacturer of it and the China principal, we, and, we were, and we were the principal exporter of it. And we've just given that to China. We've also given high-speed rail to China. We've I, I'm given sorry, every state-of-the-art uh, infrastructure just, to China. Why don't we take that back? You, you're we've right, you're right that China it. has ripped off our intellectual property, we there's no doubt. To them. Let me just we end on, to on, on this observation. Gift. Hold on. Okay, go ahead. My go last ahead. point. Mm -hmm. You say it's not about control. It's purely voluntary. No, no, no it's not voluntary. It's facilitation. It's facilitation. The idea is to oh, help okay. to... Yeah. And then you point to China, to the fascist government of China, as it's, an example of no, a program what you under, what that you, you admire. I, what you, what you uh. don't understand, I'm not saying I admire China, but I'm saying that the Chinese government actually aids mm. Chinese industry. Our government does not aid American industry. Now, as you know, Calvin Coolidge well, used to I'm say... A, now I'm with you on that. Well, good. That's the thing is I have been thinking all along that you and I and the rest of us are actually on the same team. There's just a lot of misunderstanding as to what we're actually trying to advocate. We because actually admire... Because I'll tell you why, because many of you all recent, use... Okay. Because many, many you of your use many of your recent the climate change as a right. way to terrify. No, we're not the trying to terrify. No, it is an urgent. Look, look it's yes, actually are. it's very urgent, Tucker. It is urgent, but we're not trying to terrify anybody. We're trying to convince people that what we really have to do is restore the old American system of collaboration between the government and industry in order to facilitate better financing of a, again a state of the art green infrastructure. We want to be the principal manufacturer in the world. We want to be the principal, the, the most the most modern infrastructure in the world. We want to be the fastest growing right. economy in the world. We want all of that. We used to be able to do that. And the way we did it was by having the government collaborate with business. But we part, do that now. Part of this is right. Part of it is dishonest. But no, it's not. It's not dishonest, Tucker. It really is the, the case. Two. Marco okay. Rubio, I think, well, agrees professor, too. I yeah. I, have you I seen, you've it. seen his Th recent white papers? Thank you for papers? making your case tonight. Okay. Thanks, Tucker. I have.